Right, well, welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss how to set up the throttle-based harmonic notch almost fully automatically. Uh, so there's a feature in, the feature is actually in four, Copter 4.3, but there is a bug in it. I'm hoping the fix will get backported, but it's possible that the, the working version um, will require 4.4, we'll see. Uh, but I, I can always do a, I, 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 I've got a branch that has the fix for 4.3 in it. So, I mean, reach out to me if you're interested. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, tell you how to do this. I've got a little video of how, how I did this, but uh, the main thing that you have to know when you set up is first, you have to make sure the FFT is enabled. Um, and so uh, really this works best on an H7. F7 might work okay, F4 possibly not so much, but it might still work. Um, so you need the FFT enabled, and so uh, you need to have FFT enabled, enabled set to one. Now, um, the other interesting parameters here, so three other interesting parameters. First is the range that's used by the FFT. And my bug fix changes this range so that the, or one of the things it does is changes its range. So the old range was 80 to 200 hertz. And that's not enough for a copter of the size I'm tuning. So the copter I'm tuning is 50, it has a hover frequency of 55 hertz. And so 80 is above that. So that's no good. You're never going to find it. And then also it's got three very distinct harmonics, possibly four. Um, and so 200 is, is going to miss harmonics as well. So I, I found that this range 40, 50 to 450 is pretty is safe um, and actually in copes with a lot, a lot better in terms of the, the tuning. So that you, sh you shouldn't need to set those now unless you've got a very large copter with a very low hover frequency. frequency. Um, but the thing it is worth setting is the window size. So the FFT window size is by default on an H7 sector 64 and by default on a F7 and F4 set to 32. Um, and the problem with this is that this window size determines the frequency resolution that's found for the notch. So basically the frequency resolution is the sample rate divided by the window size. And so for instance, on an H7, often the default sample rate for the gyros is two kilohertz. And so if you have a, um, uh, if you have a uh, sum, uh, FFT window size of 64, then 2064 divided by 64 gives you a frequency resolution of 31 and a quarter hertz. Now, actually, my algorithm can go, oh, can go to about half that 16, 17 hertz, but that's still a bit too low. Uh, and so, um, uh, it, yeah, so you want to really increase the window size. And in particular on the H7, you can go up to 256 pretty easily. And if you've got a two kilohertz thing, you go up to 256, then that gives you a sort of raw resolution of n nearly eight hertz or about four hertz with my algorithm. So that's much, much better. So this makes quite a big difference. So on H7, basically recommend you change FFT window size uh, to 128. And then the other thing you need to do is set up an RC uh, option. I can't remember what I've got this set to. RC9, no. Let's see whether I can find the option. Uh, It's 160. I probably haven't got it set because it's set here. 11 is that. Okay, uh, I can probably see it here. It's 162, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if it's shown here. Yeah, okay, 162 FFT tune. So basically, you want to put a switch, set the RC option to 162 for FFT tune, and then you can toggle it on and off to start and stop the tune. 
uh, and that's that's all you need to do when you start and stop when you stop the tune the knot should be set up so that's what I'm going to show in the next okay so now I've got a tune on the copter uh, I want to get the noise out of the copter so I can get a better tune and uh, first port of call here is uh, the harmonic notch uh, and what I'm going to do first of all is to get uh, the throttle bass notch working and I'm going to try using the FFT tuning function so this is a way of getting uh, simply getting the, the harmonic notch going basically you set uh, a channel to 164 I think is the option which is the FF tune option you enable FFT so FFT enable uh, put it in a hover and then engage the, FF, uh, the FFT tune option for about 60 seconds and then uh, take it out again okay so you can see it's hovering quite nicely in loiter and I've got the notch tune the FFT tune enabled and I'm going for 60 seconds and I'm going to disable it and so interestingly that failed. So I've got a, as you, know, you can see there, it said FF tune selected 176 Hertz, fit 100%. So it found a frequency, but then it selected a notch frequency at 50 Hertz. Uh, and so I'm not quite sure uh, what I'm missing there. Um, so I'll have to have a look at the log and see why that didn't work. All right, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, only two or three degrees, but zero wind, sunshine, uh, perfect winter's day, perfect winter's day for auto-tuning. So I'm gonna have another go at auto-tuning today. Uh, and uh, I've got the copter set up here, all ready to go. And uh, got my little workstation here. And uh, I'm going to retry the automatic notch setup. Uh, so last time I discovered there was a problem when I investigated a bit more it turns out there was quite a serious bug so serious in fact that it could have crashed a copter so uh, I've hopefully fixed that bug I'm going to try it today uh, and do the same um, operation so hover uh, probably in loiter now loiter seems to be working well switch on the FFT tune leave it for about 30 to 60 seconds switch it off and hopefully I should get good settings all right, and that was successful. And I, uh, you probably can't see here, but uh, might be able to just make it out. Basically it says, selected 55.5 Hertz, uh, ref of 0.20, which is the hover ref. I, I slightly changed the message to be less confusing. Uh, and it will also have selected the, um, the harmonics that are used. So I'll have a look at the parameters, but that looks pretty good. That looks like it's successful. Uh, and uh, the next thing to do is fly it with those settings uh, and uh, um, then rerun auto tune. Okay, and when you followed that procedure, what you should then find is that the notch parameters are set up. So if I go to INSH notch, so you should find H notch is enabled, um, the frequency and bandwidth will be set to the hover frequency frowned and then bandwidth will be half the hover frequency i've got slightly different settings here and then the the frequency minimum ratio will be set to the ratio of the low, minimum fft frequency to the hover frequency uh, so um, you can obviously set it lower than that or higher but that seems like a good option and then harmonics will be set to all the harmonics that was found by the FFT and the mode will be set to the throttle base node, so option one. And then I don't think any of the options will be set, but the ref will be set to the hover frequency, the hover thrust for the duration of the test. And uh, that's what you need to do. So you can do that in flight, you can immediately take off again. The notch should be enabled. In fact, the notch will be enabled as soon as you stop the tune. Um, so at some point, I'd like to quite add, add this to the beginning of auto tune. Uh, but yeah, it works pretty well. I've had a partner try this on a larger octa quad, and with the bug fix, uh, it works really, really well. So uh, really pleased with that.